So this is the sound of all human life in space. Yeah, that's everyone's heartbeats, monitored in real time. The body area network. So how can anyone go missing? No one can ever go missing. We track everyone's health status through a network of biosensors and keep extensive records. Sandra, that's me, is an independent insurance claims investigator contracted to Planetary Resources. Are there many personnel assigned to data collection and analysis? No, no, no. It's completely automated. PR has been investing in their AI infrastructure for years. The system keeps learning. It analyzes data in real time, produces diagnostics and suggests prescriptions. By scanning an individual's data over time and comparing it to anyone else in the network, the system has a better understanding of your health than any doctor. Impressive. The system must be useful when examining the impact of space dwelling on the human body. Indeed. It can identify the and flag at-risk individuals and dynamically reassign tasks or missions. Real doctors rarely have to get involved. But if the system is automated and it's a closed loop, can anybody have access to that information? To have access in to the information, you'd need to buy a license from PR. Like the network, the information it contains is owned by the company. The body area network is currently one of PR's biggest economic assets. So as an employee, you don't own your own data. That must be strange, akin to not owning your own body. Well, <laughs> PR owns the data it collects from your body. Your body remains yours. And it's not as though PR owns anyone's soul, but sure, but what about if your body goes missing? Again, it's highly unlikely. And in the case of Hiroko Misuda, <sighs> come on, please tell me you're not into conspiracies. In other news, Planetary Resources, the company who had employed Masuda, had issued a release stating that the lab technician's body was still nowhere to be found, fueling further speculation Hiroko was working on Pathfinder, an experimental platform for self-sustaining space dwellings. After years of legal battles, the Supreme Court finally repelled PR's right to withhold his data on the grounds of unethical conduct, a decision seen by many as an opportunity to finally grieve. A large crowd is gathered outside the new extension of the Kukoji Temple, overlooking Ruruden, Tokyo's first LED-enhanced columbarium. Inside, tombstones made of light, a digital graveyard renamed the LED Festival by the neighboring residents. What do you think happened? <laughs> Honestly, I think the company is responsible. They did something during that solar flare. You believe that PR would know about those ahead of time. They are notoriously unpredictable. Who knows what they can or can't do? If PR didn't do anything, why didn't they release his data earlier? Technically, no crime actually occurred. PR had to be prosecuted before they released his biodata. No crime! You either are on the station or you're dead. And it was one of those experimental spacecraft. Do you think he saw something he shouldn't have? Some people believe that there's a commune. I mean, it, it sounds unlikely. I know, but... But think, wouldn't it be amazing? A self-sustaining station, a new Earth. If people start doing their own thing out there, then guys like PR would lose their power completely. Right now, it feels like they're trying to privatize the heavens. After years of struggle, enough funds were pulled together to bring Hiroko into the digital afterlife. What that means is these digital graveyards are monuments for the preservation of information, an archive of the deceased's identity. Many of these urns carry the hope that technological advances may resurrect their consciousness hidden in the entangled mass of data they left behind. And maybe one day, Hiroko will re-emerge from the cloud. Th 
three years ago, on June 15th at 1.36 GMT, a huge solar flare knocked out all orbital communication. Essentially, space went dark. <laughs> then, all that we know is that Hiroko sensors just never turned back on. It's actually this lack of information which enabled so much speculation in the first place. But people are neither, well, either people are incredibly naive about what PR is capable of doing or incredibly enthusiastic in their skepticism. What about you? Well, me, I'm a realist. Sandra, that's me. Her role is to determine if the circumstances that led to injuries are actually PR's responsibility, or if they occurred in a breach of contract, such as skipping daily exercises routines. In space, there are daily exercise routines because physical activities are mandatory to cope with the absence of gravity. At around 11.30 GMT, Hiroko's wearables show a heart rate increase. That is to be expected, given that he had started exercising. Then, well, as you can see, the event occurs. We lose track, and that's it. Really? Could a body actually just vanish? If you die in orbital facilities, the company will wrap you up in a body bag to freeze you, and then they shake you until you shatter into a million pieces. So you're saying that PR could have vaporized him. No. No. On the contrary, you cannot self-vaporize. This process involves exposing the body to the vacuum of space for over an hour, bringing it back, then turning it into dust. Objectively, that kind of suicide isn't even that most popular theories. Conspiracy. Th the most popular theories suggest that he may have been murdered well, yes, it's the perfect crime, isn't it? Perfectly executed, no evidence during the largest solar flare in history. Um, it sounds a little too perfect. Reality strike you as perfect? Complicity between irregular solar patterns and the opaque, presumably nefarious machinations of PR? Implying that somehow PR knows so much that it can predict the sun's behavior in advance. You're saying that PR can make backdoor de deals with the heavens. No. What I'm saying is... <laughs> what I'm saying... is... digital ghosts. Irrational explanations are symptoms of grief. Ways to cope with the impossible. Perhaps we are already encased in our own digital mausoleums, endlessly replaying chapters of our own existence. <laughs> 